Oh no! Oh no! What is this? This isn't what I think it is, is it? This is Battletoads. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's Battletoads. For a second there, I was like, wait a minute. Rare doesn't make bad games. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh. oh dear. Okay, so I used to work at GameStop, and almost every single day, some asshole would call asking if we had fucking Battletoads. It was like some kind of prank thing that people... Hey, Riley, do you have Battletoads? <laughs> we fucking don't! <laughs> Story so far. One day, Pimple and Princess. Oh, okay. <laughs> God, look how transparent the ship is. Fun fact: If you uh, play Shovel Knight on, I believe on the the Xbox version, uh huh. There's a you can fight the Battletoads as an optional boss. Really? Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. And then if you play it on the uh, on the PS. On the PS4 version, you can fight Kratos in God of War. Oh. Really? Yeah. I don't know what they did for PC, though. Or Switch, for that matter. Hmm. You know, I will give you uh, this. I really like the graphics they put into this one. Like, this is one of the few NES games that has panning. Or paneling. Like, you could see the background be animated and everything. Yeah. Yeah, this... It's it, rare it for good. NES. Ah, rare, get it? Shut the fuck up. Oh, God, that's all. Go to the corner, Nikki. Yay. This is why mom doesn't fucking love you. You sure love to quote that video, don't you? Yes. Yeah. Just wait until yeah. he attack on Titan abridged. Ah. And yes, the furthest I've got to was the freaking turbo tunnel. Oh, shoot. Alright. Oh, you're just coming back? You want some more? Fuck you. And? Fuck you. Give him the old one-two punch. No, give him the good fucking... Like, this is a whole new meaning for the stick. Ow, you bitch. You dickbag. Take that, you dick cheese. One, two, one. Such language, Golden. What would Dr. Wolf say? Give me the fucking stick! <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <not. laughs> Give me the fucking stick! Let me smack you right up the ass! I just imagine Doc saying that. It's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said that. <laughs> What's this? Oh, damn it. I, like, I, I was trying to uh, read what um, Science Theory Rod was uh, trying to say to me. He donated $90. Ooh, ooh, no. Jesus, man! What do you do we for are now a living? Two hundred dollars. Well, Jesus Christ, man! All right. Yeah, I know, right? Ow! You Dear... asshole! Get over here. Dear Science Daddy, what do you do for a fucking living? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are oh, you I still gonna get to calling him that? Oh God! <laughs> what do you fucking expect? <laughs> Fuck you! Get your ass over here! Ow! Okay. Get off the walls. You little dick bag. Give me that fucking stick. Ow! Yeah, plot twist. Science Steel Rail is actually the Nigerian prince that wanted to split all his money with us. <laughs> Get the yeah, fucking stick. Yeah, everybody kept turning him down, so he just decided to give all his money to the analysts. <laughs> he, he, he just decided to give it all to the streamers. <laughs> I mean, all I right. had to go somewhere. Time to make a jump. Thanks for hosting. Ow! Oh god, I'm getting my ass handed to me! Are you fucking serious? You dickbag! You fucking cheapskate! He threw me in the water! How did he touch it again? You fucking asswipe! <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you and the horse you rode in on! You asshole! Ow! You fucking dickwaffle! Fuck you! Fucking dickwaffle. I don't think he likes you very much. Yeah, no, really? Oh. This game seems very fair. Very fair, very fair indeed. Ah, oh. seems about as fair and balanced as random crits. Science says he's gonna drag me to BronyCon. 
<laughs> oh, you better go to BronyCon, man. If uh, you're you... not going to BronyCon, I'm gonna help him. Ah! You're getting there one way or a fucking other, my friend. Yep. All right. And I already got a game over. Nice. Oh, all the way back to the beginning of the stage. Fuck you. It... Getting them combos, son. Yeah, I know, right? Thor Ragnarok's Cavern. Yep. Come on, get your ass back here. And... Stamp on the ground. Jump, jump, jump. Give me the fucking stick! Give me that stick! And smack you right in your face! Crush your fucking skull! Golden, you really like that stick, don't you? Yes, I do. I like my stick. Anybody who touches it is gonna fucking get their ass handed to them. Oh, I feel bad for you then. Anybody that touches a stick gets the stick shoved into them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that goes double for keyframe. No. No. Keyframe. Oh no, it goes into her. Don't don't you worry. Oh god. <laughs> oh, you Solar, there, man. Solar. Shut yes. up. You're... <laughs> I'm trying to process what you just said. <laughs> I was just implying it, but Solar just made the fucking joke. I was you know, I, I, I just realized that the, stick, the pipe that he's using in there, I, I don't know why, but it's some kind of weird fucking uh, gold titanium alloy. Like, why is it not just made out of fucking oh, iron? Don't fall off the cliff. Christ. You And bitch. I guess that means that, uh... If oh! Made out of oh! Oh! Did you just see what he did? He flew off like an asshole. Nesting? No! He Nesting? fucking grabbed me and seismic tossed me right to the fucking floor. <laughs> and he's doing it again. Who the phone's ringing? Yeah, I know, right? Who the fuck? Nah, bitch. Some rando on Skype is trying to fucking call me. I don't even know who the fuck they are. And here I go, getting my ass kicked. Come on, get up. Stop getting your ass kicked. Easier said than done. I'm not even at the fucking turbo stage yet. I'm getting my ass Stop kicked. Stop getting your ass kicked. Ow, 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 stop. At least I didn't get knocked off the cliff, you fucking asshole. Whoa. Oh, that's right, there's that mo- You fucking dick cheese. Ew. Has anybody ever looked at the color of that stick that's being used as a weapon? I guess you could really call it the golden rod. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> and he likes to shove the golden rod into people, don't you worry. <laughs> Remember what I said five minutes ago about, uh, about how it works double for keyframe? Yep. <laughs> the golden rod goes right into her, don't you worry. So remember that all who oppose me will have the rod shoved into you. The golden Don't rod. The golden rod. I mean, rod. I'm sure. I'm pretty sure some people would like that, but yeah, really. Oh, oh, you mean like masochists? Sure, let's go with that. I was gonna Ow. say gay people and women, but sure, masochist works. No, those aren't masochists. Those are just people who will take that for granted. I mean, like, the real assholes who just want to shit all over everything. Like the goldenrod? Yeah, pretty much. You have pussies, you have dicks, and they're assholes. I understood that reference. Yes. Oh my god. You know what? Pussies and dicks and everything in between. What the hell? There we go. Give him the old, the old smackaroo. That's right, fuck you. All the fucking misery you've given me, you stupid demon pig things, whatever the fuck you are. 
Are you serious? I directly hit him. There we go. That's right. Get a taste of the fucking golden rod, you bastard. <laughs> I think he likes that name. Oh, yeah. oh, you, oh, you like the golden rod? Sure. You like? The, you want some more? You want some more? Hmm. No. Okay, he's dead. Get your ass up and just. <clears throat> Do me a favor and stand up so I can kill you again. <laughs> Pretty much. Ow. That's right. Fuck you. Oh. I just missed my opportunity to replenish my health. Oops. Yep. <clears throat> Ow. Come on, get up, get up, get up, get up. I like that they have this, like, first-person perspective in an NES game. Like, most other games are, like, 2D. Like, flat games. But there's, like, an interesting perspective idea to go with here. It's not, the, like, the only game that did that. I mean, you also have Contra and, um... And I think Top Gun. There are a couple that I... Remember, not my name. Oh, oh, would you look at that? <clears throat> Whatever the hell that thing is, it's taken care of. I just think that it's really unique that you're viewing this from the perspective of the boss. Yeah, that's I think. Some, yeah, it's pretty that's cool. That's something you don't really see. Mm -hmm. And here comes one of the better uh, looking stages. Look at that. Look at that fucking double panning right there. I mean, this is this is NES standard, so it's a pretty big deal. Jeez, yeah. Yeah. Well, Golden, do you know another game that has a boss where you see it from his perspective? What's that? Kingdom Hearts 2. Die. <laughs> that that wasn't an NES game though. Oh, no. this bastard, I know who that is. I don't if, know, some kind of fuck. No, those crows, <sighs> if you actually if you don't take care of the crows, they will cut your lifeline and you will fall to your death. They're fucking cheapscapes. You gotta take I see that you rage quit on Jaws. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm I now I've decided to punish myself with another hard ass game. So <laughs> welcome back, <laughs> Lightning Bliss. Sugar Daddy Thank decided you. to go and fill out the rest of the bar, so Yep. Oh jeez. Oh, uh oh, I think I missed Aeon. Oh no! Oh, how do I he... add him in here? Um, shit. Does anybody know how to work with um, uh, Discord? Um, yeah, to summon me... Aeon, you just gotta say six six six. No. Let me add him to the Skype chat, and then he can get the link from there. Yeah. Or you could just um. Yeah, I don't think it's as simple as say. Like adding them in like you do with Skype. I, I don't get the stud! No, I like I added him to the Skype chat where we got the link to the Discord. Okay. No, yeah, he gave up, honey. <laughs> Alright, come on. That's right. By the way, guys, since we've reached over 200, like, like, like I was thinking there were some games that I would also want to play. But I want to be open to what you guys would also want. Um, for the games that I would want to stream are A Link to the Past, Mega Man X, and at one point I hope to do something really special with it, Super Metroid. Ooh. I just don't know what. But, um, ah! You asshole. Fuck you. No, uh, Zelda, uh, that's, that's something that'll be, like, I'll be at for a while. But, like, I could play, like, a few other games. I would you should definitely play Oracle of Ages. That was one of the best. I'm kidding. Oracle. Hey, no, you should play Wind Waker instead. Ages. Oh, yeah. Wind Waker's better. Yeah, let me just fucking pull out my pocket GameCube. God damn it! <laughs> I mean, I'm hoping they get started adding uh, GameCube games to the Switch. Dude, if they had fucking GameCube Virtual what Console the to the Switch, I'd be so hyped. Oh, imagine if they remastered Melee. Melee remastered for Switch. Just Let's imagine go. that. Just imagine that because so many people love Melee the most. Melee on the go on the Switch. 
I'm sorry. I just, I just, I just, I just came. <laughs> All over my switch. Gotta you know, wipe it up now. Actually, <laughs> hey, D-Bird. Oh shit! Oh shit! I know what that is. Who is that? Oh, is that Aeon? Hey, Aeon. Like Hello. I said, six, six, six. Aeon. Hi. Hello, PC. Hey, Peter. How's it? Uh, how's it going? How's it hanging? About seven inches, just like normal. Oh, I got electrocuted. Solar. Yes, the solar uh, we're talking we'll about. Remember? <clears throat> yeah. We'll I now yes. have enough burns on my arm. It makes it look like I have a weird disease. Oh my God, Aeon! T M I. My manager, my manager is a total bro because he walks back after I'm like working on the machine that likes to hurt me a lot, and then um. Because, you know, I have, like, a massive gash burn because uh, it got damaged to the motor at one point, And then I got uh, oil pressed, which uh, is not fun. Um, so, Ow! Um, Fuck! He comes back with a little bottle. And I missed him! Like, non -stick, so he's, like, put, tosses it, put it on your hands, and then uh, it's burn spray. Like, mm. they, they, no ah! Then he hands me some burn gel. And that's it! <laughs> <laughs> he hands me some burn gel after that, but I didn't know they had that. He was a bro for showing that to me. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's I'm nice, gonna... but I don't like that you're getting burned at work. That's not good. I don't care that I got game over. I want to at least again. reach the turbo tunnel. <laughs> I know what to do now. Like, apparently my, my freaking gaming skills, like, they're absolute shit, but they were worse, like, as of now. Uh, somebody, uh, Peter, somebody says you're, uh, your voice sounds uh, too quiet. Well, oh, you sound better. a little muffled. It sounds like you need to get close to your microphone to perform some ASMR. It sounds like I got to leave, baby. You mean like this? Yeah. Oh, I can't. That's right. Give me the fucking stick. It, sorry. No, he's okay. You see later. I need to show you a song. I know I you've been telling me about it. <laughs> it's good. It's Is it called I Burn My Arms Off at Work? Ow! Stop kidding me, you piece of shit! I'm stuck! <laughs> oh my god, my god. that is video. pissing me off. That oh, is. is that Aeon? I'm sorry. I'm just a burn victim again. You helped me out like last time? <laughs> you want me to carry you again? <laughs> Finally! <laughs> Context. So, the, Aeon used to have this one job, and it was a really, really, really bad job where he got really badly burned. It was Ooh. like a rubber factory. Yep. It was so, so it was like burning like hot rubber melted through his gloves and everything, and he got badly burned. Oh my god. Yeah, so um, he came back home, told me about it, showed me the evidence. Holy crap. And I'm like, I, I can just picture you with little bandages on your hoofies, and he's like, Blissy, I'm a burn victim. Would you take care of me? And I'm like, Holy shit, am I actually riding on this fucker? Yeah. <laughs> oh, like, damn it. Oh. I gotta make a comic. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Who's your that's right, who's your fucking boss now, asshole? Yeah, grabbing me like fucking sides with tossing me, throwing me into the fucking waterfall. Fuck you. <laughs> Golden Fox has just described hate fucking. Ah! <laughs> and I missed it again. I missed the fucking one up. No, it's a good thing. Otherwise, she'll get pregnant and start asking you for child support. No! Oh! God damn it, Solar. But yeah, anyway, I made a comic book about that. I still have it up. It's like Aeon shrinks himself down so that I can carry him on my back. <laughs> it's pretty adorable. Oh, so it's a retelling of a of a fantastic uh, voyage. Well, now Aeon, well, now Aeon is asking. Well, and now we're back to the present. Aeon is a, once again a bird victim, and he's asking for a favor. <laughs> Aeon, why do you need to be carried again? You're already here. <laughs> I know. Well, I have to lay down though, and do. <sighs> yeah, oh, but you have to lay down? Well, then lay down! Why do I have to carry you to make you lie down? Yeah, what are you, I fucking can't... dumb? <laughs> oh, I can't move. 
What do you mean you can't move? You need to lay off the edibles. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think he numbs the pain? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Aon, Aon, I'll levitate you up and put you on your back. There. Are you better? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to do? I swear, Peter, sometimes you're being like an overgrown child. You're just like... I would answer that question, but I'm pretty sure it'd be way past NSFB. <laughs> I, I, well, you're not Aon. I'm going to ask Aon. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Touch my pee pee. The fuck? Oh, we got some weird desires over there. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen a lot of things, but they never gonna see <laughs> anything like you. Damn it! <clears throat> oh, I think I know what he wants. I think I know what he wants. Damn it. <clears throat> Is it weed? No! Bye! Aww. Aww. No, you can use me as a pillow. There. Is that what you want? Yes. Ow! God damn it. That is what... All right, that is what he wants. I am the blissy pillow. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you are, like, marshmallow colored, Shut aren't you? Shut up! <laughs> you are digging a hole! You are digging a hole! And I will tell Keyframe on your ass! <laughs> this yeah, woman tell brought... Keyframe the one person who could stick her head out of the hole that he's digging. <laughs> This moment brought to you by the Lightning Bliss Show. I will murder you. <laughs> no, it's okay. He'll just hide on the top shelf. No, in the words of Solar, die. <laughs> this is the simple, blunt answers that Solar just cares. God damn it. Uh, you, got that, you got that from the Magus's Bride. The what hmm. bride? The, major, the ancient Magus's Bride. Oh, anime. okay. Okay, that Elias happens. says that to anybody who annoys him. He just says, die. <laughs> that episode we watched on, on Friday. Was so Marshmallow cool. Blissey. Hashtag Marshmallow Blissey. Ancient, ancient fucking Mage's Bride, except for the episodes that we saw during Anime Night. So, I had Hashtag no idea that was even a thing. Did you know Eliora is now a cinnamon roll? Uh, no, she is the, she is the <laughs> no, lady No, she shady. is not. She is Lady Shady. I, I, don't, I don't know where that fucking... That, that notion came from that Ellie was suddenly a cinnamon roll because, um, to my knowledge, oh, no. It's inaccurate. No, She's not. No. She would take great rage in that. Oh, no! Bad plant! So much rage. What? Foxy, Blissy, what? That is not hashtag what? <laughs> hashtag Blissy Pillow. I'm well aware I'm a pillow. I, 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 the things I do for love and for my friends. The things I do for love. The things I do for love. Oh, man. Oh, well, hi to you, too. Hi to who? Hi to who? You try, you, are you trying to be like Stewie from Family Guy? You know that scene where he goes, Mom, Mom, Mommy, Mommy, what? Hi. Hello, Brian. <laughs> God dang it. Hello, Brian. Where's my thing. money? You gonna give me my money? I want my money! I will never money? forget that scene. That was just, like, fucking intense. That was, that was brutal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But apparently okay, he... Brian deserved it, though, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, he's become a yeah, pain in the ass He's character. kind of become a really awful character. Yes, I have stopped caring about Family Guy years ago. Like, Same. it was even said just... that Seth... Ow, god damn it. I saw it coming, and I took the fucking trajectory. <laughs> Alright, right, guys, I'm gonna go eat dinner. I'll be back later. Alright, Riley. Uh, see ya. Ugh, how many of these are there? Christ! Do you want something for what I'm saying? What was that? Oh. Uh, that golden set seven. You later. Oh, Fuck. Nikki V's in here? Yeah. Oh, yes. Could you smell know. his strawberry-scented leg? Is it bad to say if we were in an anime, I want that to be your special move? <laughs> he just pulls up Super one leg of his pants, and then the strawberry scent just Super rolls Saiyan out. Super Mickey V, strawberry leg kick. The lotion is my stand. 
Stand. <laughs> I don't quite get how stands work, but I think that's how. Fucking little Stands shit are bags basically there. magical flying oh, robots shit. that fucking let you do crazy shit. Ah. Uh. That's that's the really really uh the really fucking Get your ass over here. Okay, fine, it. don't. <laughs> oh yeah, crap! That, that, that's that's a good way to put it. Got you a non weep like me up. Um, okay, EG Studios ninety three wants to know, Golden Fox. This is a personal question, but do you think, but do you think you people deserve to discourage what? Um, Dis this is a personal question. Discouraged but do with you the think job. You people deserve to be discouraged with a job they have that has nothing to do with their dream job. I've been having this experience with my family to to where I work at. Oh, um, EG. Um. I, I think I know that uh, what he means is is um like has has anyone tried to discourage you from your dream job because they don't think you'll succeed? I that have had that experience before, and I get, I could go on all day about that shit. And ironically, the job, the place that discouraged me from the dream job is where I'm currently working at. I'm gonna yeah. leave it as that. So I definitely feel your pain. I really do not appreciate it whenever uh, like somebody goes to dictate your life. In what you are pursuing, you know, follow your passion. Don't let anybody get in your way. Mm -hmm. I, I've my father has said things that were rough and cruel, but he never said I couldn't do it. The some of his stuff was implied that I wouldn't succeed, but he never stopped me from doing what I do, which was go to college for 2D animation. I told him I'm going to college. He's like, good. I'm going to 2D animation. It's like, are you sure you want? It's what you want to do. Yes, I am. Shit. All right, go for it. That's what he did. Yoink. Um, I've never had anyone discourage me from what I'm doing right now. I do know at, at one point I, I quitted working my job at Subway because mm -hmm. I felt like I was wasting my time. Obviously, I have a, a degree in, a, in 2D animation, an associate's degree, and I wanted to do animation. I just didn't know how. I didn't know where to look for a job. You can't really find one here in Texas. I mean, you could, but you need to be, like, top-notch. Um, mm -hmm. But then my hobby ended up turning into a real job. I am paying bills with what I do. And it's even helped me and my husband to save up for a future house. So to say that I'm working my dream job is true... And nobody in my family has discouraged me from doing it. Though I've had had family members insult me for having it. Yeah, but fuck them. Not really. Uh, no, 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 no. I literally <laughs> did say that to them be uh, as of a few weeks ago. Because I finally cut, officially cut ties with that side of the family. Hmm. Lamau, bye, bitch. Yeah, I could tell a personal story that would rock anybody's angry bone. I could tell, like, like that's <laughs> kind of how I feel with uh, my end of the story. What was that? You broke off. Oh, sorry. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah it's just every now and then you break off and it's, yeah. Hmm, I don't know why. But... Like in mid-sentence, but I usually catch what you say. Okay, well, I also have my story to share. I've been... Thinking about sharing this um, through one of my YouTube videos about it, but I don't want it to come off as selfish. It's really delicate, but it's definitely in the same kind of situation of what EG was referring to. Mm -hmm. And, like, it definitely, like, I told the story to um, Keyframe so many times that she's tired of it. Mm -hmm. um, but if I were to tell this story, I just hope that things don't get blown out of proportion. Because there is, like, there is the certain sense of perspective, but even then, I'm still very angry at it. Oh my god! I'm getting a fucking Zerg rush here! <laughs> okay. Speaking oh of getting god, angry. Oh god, it's Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. That's right, fuck you. I mean, EG, I, I know of a, a good story that helped to motivate me at one point. Uh, the, the, uh, the book, Arthur, uh, the writer, I'm sorry, the writer for the Harry Potter books. Oh, yeah, J.K. Rowling? Yeah. She yeah. went to hundreds of agencies. Hundreds. 
before anyone acknowledged her talent. Oh yeah. Like, she wrote the first couple chapters of her books on, like, fucking napkins that she got from restaurants. That's how poor she was. Yeah, she she really struggled to get any notice for her her writing, and I don't, I think she I think she even said she had no idea it would get this big. Fuck. But she had to work really hard to get the attention. Um, she had to she yeah. had to go to everybody. She what I mean the, fuck? the point is that we all start out somewhere, and sometimes you really have to bust some tail to to get to where you want to be. You gotta really bust some of that ass. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love that story specifically because uh, it's like that she is an example of success. Working, working hard pays off, <clears throat> and not giving up. It's to me from that perspective. It's not so much as working hard. It's more of just never giving up. And. You know that, that you know that kind of motivation. You know I can definitely appreciate that. Yeah. It's just the scary part is is if you never succeed uh, with all that struggle you have, and sometimes it could um, that kind of risk it could lead you into a direction where you could wind up with nothing with what you're passionate about. That's the thing that I'm afraid of whenever it comes to following my passion. And I'm not trying to be cynical or derail uh, the positivity behind, uh, you know, the story with J.K. Rowling. Uh huh. But it's just, you know, it's that sense of fear. Like, what is like, what do you, what do you lose, or what do you gain from what risk you're taking? You know. Yeah, I mean, I, I took a risk. I, I didn't think what I'm doing right now would actually profit. <clears throat> as well as I would have hoped. But then one day I decided to do a calculation to see if I was at least making something to help support us. And Lord behold, I actually made more than my husband at one point. <laughs> Which scared me half to death, I must admit. Oh, shit. Pressure's on now. Yeah, I'm like, okay. This has officially become a job. I'm in trouble. <laughs> They say if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. I believe that to an extent. Yeah, but I can see that. But even if you do love uh, what you're doing, sometimes you can stumble upon those uh, tough times where it's very stressful. But that's also part of the challenge of keeping that passion. Because if you give up because of something you're frustrated with, you're going to regret it. Seems everyone went silent there. <laughs> they say if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. I say it's bullshit because I love my job and it still drives me crazy. Yeah, my <laughs> job can drive me crazy too. There's going to be days where I feel like I've either overshot myself, I have too many commissions, or I feel like nothing I do is enough. Shit, I missed. Damn it. Come on. I want to at least get to Turbo Tunnel. Come on. I want to at least go to Turbo Tunnel. <laughs> and with these past two months, that's been double the feeling. But, yeah. I don't want to go in that category. You fucking uh... ass wipe. <laughs> oh, my God. I Fuck you. <laughs> There. God damn it. This guy again. And. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't make it to Turbo Tunnel. Oh, I'm sorry. I am going to get to that at one point, And when I do, I will fucking, like, save state that shit. And I will make this, like, a second part of this. And it will be fucking intense. I want to see how far I can go on that goddamn, like, jet let that freaking skeep thing. Whatever that's called. So, yeah. Um, that being said, um, I'm going to figure out what other game I want to play. <laughs>